Welcome to MadFam FM, FM Synthesis Explained. In this video series, I teach you my method for working with FM. In episode 2, I showed you how to program saw and square waves, and also some basic filtering effects on a DX7 Mark I. If you're using Dext, DX7 II, Montage, or Volca FM, these examples will translate almost exactly. However, if you're using a 4 operator synth, like a classic DX, you might notice that the edit values and their results don't translate the same. So, just for you, I've gone ahead and reprogrammed Episode 2's examples on a DX100. As mentioned in the previous episode, this is my formula for writing FM edit values. Carriers are orange, modulators are blue. Output level values are inside the boxes, and frequency values are next to their corresponding boxes. Feedback values are white, and on the corner of the corresponding operator. So, initialize a patch, select Algorithm 6, Use operator 1 as carrier, and operator 4 as modulator, with feedback. Program these values in, and save them as separate patches named mfsaw, and mfsquare. Interestingly, the saw wave is going in the opposite direction than the one generated on the DX7 Mark I. Its waveform structure is retained at low octaves as well, whereas the DX7 Mark I sawtooth loses definition at low octaves. Characteristics like this prove that there are clear differences in the way these two FM synths sound. Let's move on to some filtering techniques. This programming trick will allow you to use your mod wheel to increase and decrease the operator output level. Applying this to a carrier lets you control volume. Applying this to a modulator lets you control timbre and resembles the effect of a low pass filter. For this example, we'll apply it to the modulator. Select MF saw that you've just programmed Go to Mod Sensitivity Amplitude, and set it to a maximum value of 3. Engage your modulator by pressing the corresponding operator AMS on off button. These are also bank buttons, bank A for operator 1, bank B for operator 2, bank C for operator 3, and bank D for operator 4. By default, the LFO is engaged to affect amplitude modulation, so lower the LFO speed to 0. Next, press Function, and set Wheel Range. By default, the wheel range for pitch is set at 50, so set this to 0, and increase the amplitude to 99. Now the mod wheel is active, and you have real-time control of your selected modulator's output level. If you go back to AMS and engage the carrier, you can control volume at the same time. This next trick will set the LFO to increase and decrease the modulator output level. This gives the effect of a repeating filter. Select MF saw again to reset the patch. Go to Mod Sensitivity AMS and set it to a maximum value of 3. Switch your modulator on. Next, press LFO AMD and adjust the value from 0 to 99 for the preferred intensity. You can adjust speed and waveform for your preferred effect. In this following example, I've set the speed to 10 and I'm switching through the waveform variations so you can hear the differences. You can also use the envelope to control the modulator's output level, and this will have the effect of changing the brightness over time according to key presses. Four operator DX synthesizers have a basic five-stage envelope. Attack rate, decay rate, decay level, sustain length, and release rate. Adjust your modulator's attack rate and D1R values to adjust the envelope while a key is pressed. Have a look at these settings and listen to the corresponding examples. Try these out on your DX synth. Thanks for tuning in. I hope these examples improve your FM programming experience. In the next episode, we'll look at frequency editing for the DX7. Please like and subscribe and join me on Patreon for monthly patch downloads and to support the production of new videos. Leave your comments and questions below, and I'll see you in the next video.